there's still a lot of frustration at the traveler level, particularly as more information is available, more prevalent information, accurate information. But why don't you book those things the first time? Why do you shop at 22 different sites? I think that's still a question that uh, companies are trying to solve. How do you broker that trust to make it feel like you're getting the best deal? And I think that does come down to the user experience. It comes down to knowing offers that are relevant to you and how you're traveling. Many people wear multiple profiles, like sometimes you travel as a business traveler, sometimes you're traveling with the family. And there's still a long way to go about knowing you and your needs, particularly as suppliers continue to unbundle services. How frustrating is it that you show up at the airport and to check in early, you have to pay an additional fee? How frustrating is it to show up at your hotel and have a resort fee and to not understand where that resort fee is coming from? I think there's still a pretty large gap in terms of what travelers expect from a user experience and what technology can do to help deliver that experience to build trust to help you not go to 23 different places to look for the best price. It's an exciting time to be in travel. Uh, you have three trends that are kind of coloring where the industry is headed. And one trend is the consolidation. There's just a massive amount of consolidation that's happened over the past five years. The other trend is these uh, new entrants um, that are shaking up and disrupting travel, which is you know companies like Airbnb that have shaken the hospitality industry, Uber, who's turned uh, transportation upside down, uh, Google, who represents the ever-present threat. Those trends forces companies to be very discerning on their next steps. I believe the trend is, is that as they're looking for technology solutions, it's a great time to be a service provider, to be able to help companies speed up their program, to be able to test and debunk or demystify some of the technology that might distract them from the key game of, of, of their business. And so there's a challenge to meet uh, the constant growing demand of the digital traveler. In my humble opinion, it's, it's been woefully light when you look at it through the lens of Marriott breaches of late. GDPR did represent a pretty significant change uh, for how travel data was going to be shared. We do have the same standards as many organizations around PII, but there's a lot of work that's been done to meet GDPR standards, particularly as it represents the core distribution players and marketers. But the regulation within the industry is still far from where it needs to be, in my opinion. So there's a lot of attention that needs to go in this space, both from companies that want to be good stewards of data and from, from regulatory uh, and compliance that needs to somehow force companies to pay attention so that things like Starwood Marriott breach don't happen again.